Hiring is this never ending process of juggling, scouting for top candidates, going through resumes and writing outreach emails. Sure, you want to find the absolute best candidates because your company's success depends on it. So you kind of have to put up with the endless copy pasting and all of the little manual tasks that you have to do. Super annoying little tasks. But wait, when do you actually have time to recruit? Exactly. Which brings me to this video today. Hey, I'm Renat, and in case you're wondering, I'm not a recruiter. I'm an automation and artificial intelligence enthusiast. But myself as a marketing leader and an entrepreneur, I'm constantly on the lookout for top talent. Throughout my career, I've hired dozens of full-time people and hundreds of freelancers. In this video, you will learn how to use artificial intelligence and workflow automation tools to drastically enhance your recruiting process. And the best part is that the methods and the tools I'm going to show you today will work for anybody from a solopreneur to a professional recruiter. And make sure to watch this video until the very end because I'm going to share some bonus automations that will save you hours every day and save you a lot of headache. Okay, ready? Let's take a look at how the typical recruiting process unfolds. It starts with defining the role. Why do we need to hire talent in the first place? What problems will this person solve? Number two is sourcing. This is distributing our job posts across different websites and getting candidates to trickle in. Then it's followed by screening. You have tons of resumes to go through and we need to find the most interesting ones. Number four is interviewing and testing the candidates. It can be technical tests or whatever else. Finally, when you have all of the information and you've shortlisted the best candidates, it's the evaluation and offer stage. There are five stages total. And now that you have the process down, let's do some recruiting and automate the shit out of it. Part one, defining the role. I want to hire a video content leader for our tech startup. And to do that, I'm going to be using this Notion template that walks us through all of the stages that I mentioned earlier. You can grab the template to this very template in the description of this video. Let's add a new position over here under defining the role, and we're going to call it video content leader. Then we can expand it, and that's where we have this automatic template created. So the first part is role definition. We have the outcomes for the organization. Then we have hard competencies that are musts, for example, doing SEO research or being able to speak on camera. And then we have some soft competencies such as being organized, meeting deadlines, etc. Let me fill those out for this role. And don't you dare use ChatGPT to do this. This is literally the most important part of the entire process. If you get this wrong, you're not going to get great candidates. Some outcomes I want is making our existing content go farther, increase brand awareness and grow organic traffic. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we have the scorecard. This is where you convert your hard competencies and soft competencies into a checklist. From there, you're going to score each candidate based on those soft and hard competencies to see where they stand. Are they great at the skill? Are they okay? Do they suck? And this will make your decision making so, so much easier. So here I have Twitter growth. I have some basic design skills, experience with no code code, etc. That's our scorecard. Let's move on to our job post. And to do that, I'm actually going to use ChatGPT. I've created a template prompt where you can paste all of the outcomes, hard competencies, soft competencies, information about your company and anything extra. And it's going to spit out a really nice job post for you. Wow, this is actually amazing. I even use this uh, ChatGPT plugin called WebPilot to scrape our about page to make the job post a little bit more concentrated, dense, interesting. I'm going to copy all of this information to our Notion page. Part one is done. We know what we want and have our job post. Part two is sourcing. It kind of goes downhill from there with all of the manual repetitive work. But don't worry, I got you covered. First, let's distribute this job post across different platforms. That's LinkedIn, our website, Upwork, and wait for the candidates to trickle in. Houston, we actually have a problem. The very best talent doesn't really look for jobs. Everyone wants them anyways, so we have to be creative. For that, let's go on LinkedIn to do some scouting. 
And when you find the ideal candidate for a role, we're going to be using a workflow automation tool called Bardeen to capture all of the information from their LinkedIn profile to our candidate tracking system in Notion, in Google Sheets, or you name it. Here I have Bardeen AI extension installed and the automation is called copy LinkedIn profile to a Notion database one click. And just like this, the candidate was added to our Notion board over here. If you click on it, here is the information that was scraped from the LinkedIn profile page, which is super neat. It even has gotten the email. I'm going to repeat the process for some other people. And now I have five outstanding candidates. The reason I love this automation is because this way you make sure that nobody slips through the cracks. And when you found somebody who is really good, you know where they are in your application process. They can never leave your recruiting pipeline. It's time for us to get connected to these candidates. And the best way to get connected to them is through warm introductions. My go-to guy for video content making is Maguire from Webflow. It looks like I have three shared connections with him. Now I want to ask for introductions. For that, I also have an AI-based automation that's going to create a perfectly crafted introduction request message. This time I want to open up Bardeen with a shortcut option B. And here I have the automation that will ask for a LinkedIn introduction. The first thing you want to do is ask, what do you want to get an introduction for or why you want to connect with this person? Since I already know quite a bit about Maguire, I'm going to make this prompt quite specific. I want to learn about how he built Webflow University and the educational portal for his users. But you can also make a more generic reason for the introduction, such as, hey, we're recruiting for a content leader and then click on remember inputs so that this automation takes just one click to run. This time, I'm just going to customize it every time I want to get a new outreach message generated. All right, and there is our introduction request. I was browsing through LinkedIn and came across Maguire's profile. As you know, blah, blah, blah. This is super cool. It also references his profile. So I'm just going to copy this message and I can go ahead and click on my shared connections and send this message to a number of people and ask for those introductions. I'm going to move Maguire to the approaching stage. And as I'm waiting for new introductions to get trickled in, I want to cold reach out to some folks. Maybe I'd not have any shared connections, which is very often the case. So I'm going to hit up Sam O from Ahrefs, the OG in content marketing. To reach out to Sam, I'm going to use this other automation that's going to use OpenAI to draft a personalized email. Let's click on that. Here we have our outreach prompt. I'm going to sign off with my first and last name and I'm going to remember inputs. Outreach prompt is going to be different every time, whereas my name is hopefully going to stay the same. Here's our AI generated email. We can click on view to check it out and send it through. It was saved as a draft. Let's click on it. And the really cool part is that Bardeen scraped all of the information from his LinkedIn profile and mentioned some specifics. So it sounds like I actually did my homework. For example, here it says that, hey, I really like that you grew websites from zero to two million monthly visitors, which is pretty freaking insane. And then if you go to Sam's LinkedIn profile over here, this is where he talks about uh, all this. So it sounds like you actually care. AI actually cares, <laughs> which it doesn't. Psst. There is this also killer automation that can do a similar type outreach, but from LinkedIn posts. So if somebody wrote something really meaningful or something that you resonate with, you click once and boom, you have the outreach message that's going to be based on the content inside that LinkedIn post. Link to it in the description of this video. And also, if you are a technical recruiter and if you look at a lot of GitHub profiles, there's a really clever automation. It's going to find a person's email address and the way it works is pretty insane. It looks through their commits to find the email that they committed with. And this information is nowhere to be found unless you dig through code. It's in the description. Part two is done. Part three is screening. Most people, more than 50%, they just throw their resume over the fence and it's up to you to swip through all of the profiles. Three words, hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer. It's very time consuming and very frustrating. Professional recruiters, they use ATSs. Those are applicant tracking systems, but they're extremely expensive, bulky and impractical if you're hiring just a few people, and number three, they do not use artificial intelligence. So why don't we build our own ATS ourselves? How hard can it be? Let's give it a shot. 
the first thing I want to do is I want to get all of the applications and one central place from which I can analyze them. Let's use this Upwork job post as an example. Here I had 20 people apply and I'm going to use Bardeen to get them into one central place. It's going to be in Google Sheets. The automation is called save Upwork applicants to a Google Sheet. It takes one click, which is my favorite part. And just like this, we can just click on view to open up the spreadsheet. And I have all of the information I need. I have the name, the title, hourly rate, and most importantly, the cover letter. I want to filter out all of the candidates that sent me a non-personalized cover letter. Let me clean up the spreadsheet a little bit. And then I'm going to be using an add-on for Google Sheets called GPT for Sheets. And by the way, I have a dedicated YouTube video about it. It's one of my absolute favorite productivity tools. Make sure to check it out by clicking over here. There's a card. So we're going to enable GPT for Sheets. And then here we'll have a number of different formulas that we can use that use OpenAI's GPT-4 or GPT-3 to analyze the data in the spreadsheet. So if you click on this list of functions, we have different ones. We have a just standard GPT function where you can pretty much write anything. Then we have our GPT fill where you can just say, hey, this is a qualified lead, this is a disqualified lead, and then uh, OpenAI is going to try to replicate your uh, process. And finally, we have the classify function, which is really nice. You can say if a message is personalized or not personalized. For my use case, I've tried all of the different functions. The best one is using GPT because you can give it a little bit more context. So I'm going to add the column, it's going to be called personalized. I'm going to type GPT and then concatenate. Then we have our request and then we're feeding information from this column to be analyzed. Let's see if this first cover letter is personalized. Looks like it is not personalized. And then I'm going to drag it all the way down. And just like this, uh, here I have all the data. Now imagine if you had hundreds of applications. Now what you can do is you can create a very simple filter. Let's select this column and click on create filter. And here I'm just going to pick only personalized messages. And here I have all of the personalized cover letters. Super neat. And the reason I was super excited to show you GPT for Sheets is because you can build your very custom applicant tracking system inside Google Sheets. Uh, frankly, in just a few minutes, you can analyze if somebody's title uh, fits your job description. For, for some reason, people apply when they're in completely different industries and you might want to also filter them out. This is your canvas. You can do anything you want with it. So enjoy the AI Center. Congratulations, you just saved yourself days of work. And if this doesn't deserve a like under this video, I do not know what does. Screening part is complete. Going forward, there are two more stages, which is interviewing and testing candidates and then evaluating and giving them an offer. Can you imagine if artificial intelligence could do that too? Explain me this line of code. Um, I wrote it like four years ago. Doesn't matter. Well, I think this line means you stole it from Stack Overflow. Uh, bye. And as promised, I have a little surprise for you. Rapid fire automations. Automatically send a meeting link via email. Rate if people are running late or fishing out for links. So candidates don't show up late and don't ask for links. Find all of the social media profiles of a given candidate. That's LinkedIn, Twitter, their personal blog, websites, etc. Three, track candidates' job changes. How about that? All of the automations are in the description of this video. You can try them out right away. Thanks for watching. If you recruit people consistently, make sure to check out this video about how to use ChatGPT inside Google Sheets to qualify candidates faster, to write hyper-personalized outreach messages, and so much more. Click here.